Minnesota legislators have been meeting all week in a special session. They're discussing the bonding bill, COVID-19 funds, and the hot issue of police reform. Until just about an hour ago, it's been a standoff down party lines. The Republican-controlled Senate versus the DFL majority in the House. Esme Murphy is live at the Capitol in St. Paul. Esme, it sounds like there's been some progress. Is that right? We are hearing about progress, Jeff. I can tell you that behind me, you can see some photographers setting up. The governor is going to come out in just a few minutes and give us an update on the negotiations. But we're hearing that there may be some breakthroughs on some of the key issues, even possibly on police reforms, also on COVID-19 spending and other issues as well. We're also hearing about a possible special session later this month to deal with bonding and also the tax bill. Now, the list of unfinished business here at the Capitol at this special session, which is supposed to end tonight, according to the Republicans, is very long. And here it is. Number one on everybody's priority list is police reform and accountability. Also, distribution of $841 million of federal COVID money, $1.3 billion dollars in infrastructure jobs and a bonding bill, a tax bill including tax relief because of COVID-19, and a $300 million relief package for looting recovery for Minneapolis and St. Paul. Both sides here up until a few hours ago have been blaming each other. But of course, what is close could also fall apart. This is just emerging in the final hours here. Uh, as we've been telling you all week, Republicans have said this is the last day of the special session. They'll be going home tonight if the if there's an agreement or if there's not an agreement. And we're hearing that they may be getting close on a number of issues. The governor's coming out in a few minutes, and we expect to hear from the Republican leadership later this evening. All right. Thank you for that update, Esme.